In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to do a balloon column that spirals. Hey designers, welcome back to my channel with my inspiring designs with me, Justine, where all I wanna do is inspire the event designer in you. So if you would like to know how to make a balloon column for your next event, please keep watching. The first thing you're going to do is gather your supplies. All the supplies are going to be linked down below, but I just wanted to let you guys know I did not use the two IKEA stands. I ended up using one. Next, you're going to start blowing up your balloons. You want to make sure you're using two different colors, so like the green and the purple. Then you're going to insert the balloon inside the sizer. I used the big one, which was 9 inches. And as you insert the balloon, you're going to slowly release air from the balloon, so that way it creates the same size shape. Now, if you watched my Cinco de Mayo balloon arch, you could use this sizer in order to get your balloons evenly. I just did, and I just ended up using what I could and kind of eyeballed it. But if you want a consistent size, you want to use a balloon sizer. Next, you're going to take your duplets and you're going to intertwine them. You want to make sure you have two greens and two purples or two of the same color for each quad. If you're new here on my channel, welcome. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell to get notified on all the videos I do here on my channel. I usually add a balloon to the top of the pole because sometimes they are known for popping the balloons. So this is a great way to kind of ensure that the balloons won't pop at the top. So do this before you start building your balloon column. Next, you're going to take your quads and you're going to make sure that two of the same color are pairing with each other. And don't do what I just did right now. You're actually going to put the balloons that are different colors in between the pole and then you're going to alternate the colors. So the green and purple have to kind of switch so that way you have a pattern of purple green, purple green or whatever colors you try to choose. Next, you're gonna do the exact same thing with the second pair of quad, but you're just going to ensure that you're creating the spiral. Now, to get the spiral, you have to make sure that both balloons that are the same color are aligned, and you wanna make sure it's going in the same direction. So I'm gonna show you one more time. You're gonna take your third quad, do the same exact step. You're gonna alternate when it comes to the colors. You see how the purple is aligned with the green and the green is on the other side? You want to make sure that green is on the same side and it's kind of going in a spiral effect. As I was filling the balloon column, I ended up seeing that I didn't have enough balloons for two columns, so that was a big fail. That's why I said I only ended up using um, one IKEA lamp or one balloon stand to do this, and I just added a little more height just to add more balloons to it. I will leave the number of balloons and the height of the balloon column in the description below, so make sure you guys go check that out. Thank you. 
So if you've seen my video with the pink and gray balloons, I had a hard time with those foil balloons with my machine. And one of my subscribers left a comment and said, you should use the hand pump or the straw to blow it up. So I ended up trying to use the hand pump and it was actually a lot more successful. So if you have those foil balloons, which is going to act like our topper, make sure you use the hand pump. And Dollar Tree usually gives you a string to attach. If you don't get that, you can just tie a string to the end. As you can see, I am using the string to kind of pull that foil balloon and make sure it's secure. No one will see that string because eventually you're just going to cut off the end, but it helps to keep secure. And don't forget to dust your balloons. I'm telling you, they collect every dust and dirt there is. Let me know in the comments below for any future videos that you guys want me to do, whether it's balloon decor, centerpieces, whatever you have in mind, let me know down below. If you like this channel and you made it this far in the video, you might as well hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye! This is a channel for you if you are inspiring to do it. To it. <laughs> no. Wait, what are you doing? You're trying to switch up the script?